हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इंजीनियरिंग हैक्स यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम नितेश एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन मॉडल अ गर्डर ब्रिज इन स्टैट प्रो सॉफ्टवेयर सो फॉर दैट जस्ट ओपन अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सेलेक्ट अ स्पेस फ्रेम आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग अ फाइल नेम एज गर्डर ब्रिज Select any location to save this file. Length unit I am selecting as a meter, and force unit will be kilo newton. Go to next and finish. It's very simple process. You all know about user interface of a Stat Pro software. If you don't know, please. refer basic videos in design bricks youtube channel i am providing a link of that channel in description and if you want basic videos in engineering hacks youtube channel please do comment in this video i'll upload the basic videos of a stat pro software in this particular channel also so just i am starting a modeling this grid is of 1 meter length so just click on the fifth one because we need distance both side the column will be at the center of that particular bridge deck and height i am providing 6 meter you can adjust the height according to your requirement according to your project if you are a college student i am providing height as a 6 meter just click on the 6 in y direction close this grid from here now the column is created now we need to create one beam or a horizontal member it's a vertical member go to the node cursor and select that node just copy it and paste it by control c and control v in x direction the total width of the bridge i am taking as 6 meter also so in positive x direction i am just providing 3 meter in x direction once again control c and control v x direction minus 3 so from minus 3 to this particular point 3 meter Just check it. This one is three meter. This one is three meter. Total six meter width. Now just connect the beam in between that points. Go to add beam here, or you can provide a add beam command from geometry. Add beam. Add beam from point to point. Okay. Now I just want to insert some nodes to provide a girder. So just select both the beams or horizontal member and go to geometry and insert node. Provide add end point. I am providing two because I want two nodes in one beam. Like that. This one two. One, two. So I just provided two nodes in between that particular beam. Now select entire the vertical member and horizontal member, and go to translational repeat command here. In Z direction, the global direction will be Z. Number of steps I am providing three or two. you can provide according to your requirement the spans number of span you need and default st step spacing i am providing 15 meter you can provide according to your requirement the effective span distance of one span i am creating a bridge of two spans and the effective span distance will be 15 meter 
you can provide according to your requirement. Go to link step and open base and click on OK. Now the small bridge is created. Modeling a geometry is complete. Then go to general to provide a property. Go to property and go to define for concrete members. I am providing a column, a vertical member, circular column of 1 meter dia. You can provide according to your requirement. It may be rectangle, it may be square, it may be circle. If you need rectangle or a square, just go to rectangle and provide YD and ZD dimensions. For the time being, I am providing circular column of 1 meter dia. Add and close. Assign this property to all the three columns. Go to front view. Select all the vertical members. Assignment method will be assigned to selected beams. Assign and yes. Property is assigned. Now for girder, just go to section database. In section database, there are so many steel members of different country like American, Australian, Brazilian, British. So we need to select Indian. We will apply Indian sections or two big companies are also there like Jindal and Tata structure. So you can provide a section of Jindal and Tata structure also. But for, for the time being, I am providing an Indian section. Go to Indian, S shape, I shape, M shape and W shape. They all are the girders. We will provide I shape girder. Just take a one size like 812, 512. So 800 will be the depth and 500 will be the flange width. And 12, what is 12? 12 is a thickness of that plate by which the girder is built up. Select one, go to add. Uh, first one is for the beam in Z direction and the second one I am selecting for a beam in X direction or a girder in X direction and Z direction. I am applying the first property to the longer girder this one so what I need to do for that just go to select beam parallel to Z direction for longer side all the girders are selected assign to selected beams assign and yes member property is applied second one I am applying select beam parallel to X direction these one assign to selected beams assign and yes all the properties are provided to the structure you can also see 3d view just right click and go to 3d rendering or the option is here also 3d rendering view Okay, go to the support, create, I am providing fixed supports, add, select that support, go to front view and apply it to the bottom of that column, assign to selected nodes, assign and yes. Support is assigned, now go to load and definition, for the time being, I am just providing only dead load, just go to load case details add primary load number one loading type will be dad title i am providing dad load the self fit only i am providing for the timing if you want more loads and more detailed video just comment in this video 
I'll make a separate video for uh, detailed load and design also. Dead load, add, self weight, y direction, factor will be minus 1, add and close. Select that self weight and click on the method assign to view, assign and yes. Self weight is applied to entire structure. There may be a moving load, vehicle load also. Uh, weight of that particular slab which uh, we will make uh, above the that particular uh, girders for the easy moving of the vehicle. We call it as a uh, deck, deck slab. So deck slab weight we must need to provide but for the timing I am not providing any deck load also. This is a modeling video, so please understand the modeling. For the design and load pattern, we will discuss in separate video. Just go to analysis oblique print, add and close. Go to analyze and run analysis, save. Zero error, zero warning. Go to post processing mode and done. You can observe a deflection. It's a table for bridge uh, node displacement. It's a table for relative beam displacement. Just go to reaction to find out the reactions. Go to beam. It's a banding movement diagram. It's a table for axial forces, maximum bending movement, maximum shear force. Go to animation, section displacement, okay. You can find out the displacement and a section deflection also. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Please do comment and share this video. If you want more videos, more details, please do comment. Thanks for watching.